Hello Internet, welcome to the Freestyle. I'm Scott, and this weekend we're getting all kinds of biblical. We're talking about Exodus, Gods and Kings. For the plot of this movie, I mean, it's the story of Moses. Everybody's heard it. They put a little spin on it. I mean, Batman rolls into Egypt. No jurisdiction. He hears that all these slaves are being oppressed. You know, steps in, does what he has to do. God decides he's not moving fast enough, so then God decides to step in after someone else stepped in when he could have just stepped in from the beginning. And he kills like a shitload of people. And he basically just kills people until the, the enemy's like, well, fine, we give up. Just take your slaves. It's not even worth it anymore. It's the story of Moses. Alright, so this is part where I'm going to talk about my likes and my dislikes for the movie. Um, as far as likes, like, the action's really great. Um, I feel like the pacing, they really nailed it. It's something that, for a two and a half hour movie, it really doesn't feel that. And, um, the acting, like, they really, they cast a lot of good actors. I had a lot of my doubts with it, honestly. But, I, I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I was going to. As far as dislikes, um, not a lot. I would say, um... It's, it's the same old story. I mean, if you've, if you've heard one Moses story or even seen, like, one, I remember seeing the cartoon movie when I was a kid. It wasn't it wasn't very different. It was a lot bloodier, maybe more mature, but same old, same old, honestly. If you've read the book, you've seen the movie. Um, other than that, uh, there's a lot of not Egyptian people in this movie, and I know a lot of people are having problems with that. It didn't bother me as much, but it is something that's it's, it's pretty noticeable. <laughs> it's pretty noticeable. That's going to bring us to uh, the part where I like to try and rate these things. I usually do them in a 1 through 5. Um, this movie, it, it's not great, but I'm, I'm going to give it a 4. Like, I feel eh, I feel like I'm really stretching it there, but it, it it deserves it. I mean, it's um great action, good story, a lot of morals and all that. Blah, blah, blah. You know. <clears throat> but uh, don't forget to come back next week. We're going to be doing The Hobbit, which I've been looking forward to for a long time. And other than that, you know... Maybe say what's up in the comments or hit the like button or subscribe if you really want to support us. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching. And I'm Scott, and have a good weekend.